Good morning. How are you? How are you, friends? Welcome to Circle Time. My name is Miss Monica. What's your name? Well, I'm so happy you decided to come to Circle Time today. Oh, did you hear that? Listen. Listen. Put on your listening ears. I think, I think I hear our good morning train coming. Yes, the good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing purple. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing blue. Hello. Choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing green. Choo choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing brown. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing yellow. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing Red, hello, choo choo, and we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends wearing orange, yes, choo choo, hello, and we'll say hello to our friends wearing pink, hello friends, ooh, I'm wearing pink, choo choo, and we'll say hello to our friends wearing white, choo choo, hello friends, and we'll say hello to our friends wearing black, hello friends, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends. And we'll say hello to everyone that's come to Circle. Choo choo. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to Circle Time. And thank you, good morning, train. I'm so excited to start Circle Time today. But first, I need my p p p p pointer. That's right, my pointer, my Circle Time pointer. Now, before we begin Circle Time, I want you to know that today is our writing day. We will practice writing the letter B today. So don't forget to get your paper, to get your notebook, your crayon, pencil, or marker, whatever you have. And if you don't have any of those things at home, it's okay. You can practice tracing in the air with your finger. But we're going to do that a little later. So now, let's get started. Let's start with the days of the week. When we sing days of the week, remember you can clap your hands, you can snap your fingers, or you can just sing, whatever you choose. Are you ready? Great. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. One more time. There's Sunday and this Monday, this Tuesday and this Wednesday, this Thursday and this Friday, and then this Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. You did it. Great. Now let's find out what day it is today. Hmm. Let's go over to our board. Yesterday was Thursday. Remember, we had dance party Thursday yesterday. That was yesterday. Let's go down one. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Today is Friday. That's right. Today is Friday. Can you say Friday? Great. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yesterday is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, yes. Today is Friday. Ooh, F for Friday. F -f -f Friday. Let's put Friday on the board. Friday. Now, let's read it together. Can you help me read the sentence? Great. Today is Friday. Let's read it one more time. Here we go. Today is Friday. That's right. 
Thank you for helping me read that. Now let's go down to our letter of the week. Hmm, who remembers the letter of the week? Our letter of the week makes this sound. B, B, B. Do you remember? Oh, great, tell me. The letter of the week is B. That's right. B is our letter of the week. B, B, B. Every letter makes a sound and B says B. B, B, B. That's right, letter B. This is uppercase B and this is lowercase B. We have a big B and a small B. B, our letter of the week. Now later we're going to practice writing uppercase B and we'll practice writing the lowercase b. I can't wait, but that's going to be later, so let's keep on going. Let's finish our shape of the week, and then our number, and then the weather, and then we'll write, okay? Great, let's do it that way. Here we go. Now, our shape of the week is, hmm, do you remember the shape of the week? You do? What's the shape of the week? Oh, yes. The shape of the week is a star. Yes, it's a star. And our star has five points. This star reminds me of a starfish. Have you ever seen a starfish? Yes, this reminds me of a starfish. Oh, this star also reminds me of a star balloon. Have you ever seen a balloon that's shaped like a star? The star is our shape of the week, star. Let's put star on the board. There you go, star. Perfect, great. Now, let's go down to the number of the week. Who remembers the number of the week? Oh, this number has a one and then a four. Together makes number, you remember? Great, number 14. 14 is our number of the week. It has a one and it has a four. Together makes 14. 14 is our number of the week. Let's put it on the board. Okay, 14, putting you on the board. There we go. Oop, turning you around. 14, that's our number of the week. Now let's count our, hmm, what have we been counting this week? Do you remember? I know it starts with the letter B. We've been counting b b bumblebees. Yes, we have. We've been counting bumblebees. So let's get ready to count our bumblebees and make sure we have 14 bumblebees. 14. Are you ready? Great. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, where are the bumblebees? Our bumblebees are missing, missing. They're not here, so they're missing. Our bumblebees are missing. Maybe I can get the bumblebees. I think I know where they are. I'm going to go and get the bumblebees. I found the bumblebees, here they are. All of them, I think they're all here. Let's count them and find out if they're all here. Will you help me count? Okay, great. I will put the bumblebees on the board. You count them aloud, and I'll put them on slow the first time. Let's count slow the first time. Are you ready? Great. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 bumblebees. We have 14 bumblebees. We do. Now let's count them one more time. Let's count a little bit faster. 
Now let's count them one more time. Let's count them a little bit faster. You count aloud, nice and loud, and I'll use the pointer to touch them. Each one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen bumblebees. We have fourteen bumblebees. Can you say that with me? We have 14 bumblebees. Thank you for helping me count. Now let's find out what's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather out today? Is it sunny, is it cloudy, is it raining out today? What's the weather where you live? You may have to look out your window and then come back and tell me what you see. I'll give you some time. <laughs> Are you back? Great. What did you see? What's the weather where you live? Really? Wow. Well, I'm going to look outside. I'll look out my window so I can see what the weather is here, where I live. Okay, I'm going to look now. Hmm, oh, I see lots of rain. Raindrops are falling. It's raining here where I live. Wow, can you help me find a picture that represents the rain, a rainy day? Yes, thank you. Let's find a rainy day picture together. Action. Which one do you think is the rainy day picture? You can point. Oh, well if you chose this one, you're correct. This picture is a rainy day picture. Let's put this picture up on the board. Oh, now we can read it. It says, the weather is rainy. Can you read that with me? Great. The weather is rainy. Oh, it's a rainy, rainy day here where I live. So we have to get our friend, Weather Koala, ready for the rainy day. Can you help me get him ready? Great. Let's see what Weather Koala is going to wear for this rainy day. So we know it's raining. Should he wear his raincoat or do you think he should wear his green jacket? What do you think? You can tell me or you can point. Oh, well, I agree if you chose the raincoat. Yes, since it's raining, he'll want to stay dry. Let's put on his raincoat. Let's save the green jacket for another day. We'll save it for another day. Here you are, Weather Koala. And now he needs to put on his blue jeans. B, B, blue. Blue starts with letter B. And his blue jeans have what? What else does he have to help him keep them on? Belt, yes, that's right, a belt. And B, B, belt starts with letter B. B, here you are, Weather Koala. Your blue jeans and your belt, great. Now he's going to need something for his feet. It's a rainy day, should he wear rain boots? Sneakers or snow boots? Which one do you think? Can you tell me? Shout it out. Oh, well, I think we'll save the rain boots. Oh, snow boots. <laughs> Miss Monica, these are snow boots. I made a mistake. I think we'll save the snow boots for another day, a snowy day. Um, sneakers, why don't we save the sneakers for a day that's not raining, a dry day, so the sneakers won't get wet. And I think we should go with the rain boots. Some of you said rain boots. Yes, I agree. The rain boots will keep his feet dry. Let's put the rain boots on. Here you go, Weather Koala, your rain boots. I think he's almost ready. Is he missing anything? Oh, oh. Someone said an umbrella, an umbrella? 
good idea. He can hold it over his head and that will help him to stay dry as well. Let's put on the umbrella. Let's give him the umbrella. Okay, here you go, weather koala. We'll put it right here. The umbrella. He's almost ready. Does he need anything else? Is he missing something? Something for his head? What do you think? Oh, what's that called? I didn't hear you. A rain hat. Yes, he has a yellow rain hat. I'll put it on. Yellow rain hat. Thank you, everyone. Oh, now look, the rain is coming down, but he has his hat, he has his umbrella, raincoat, his pants or jeans, and he has his rain boots. I think Weather Koala is ready for the rainy day. And you helped him get ready. Thank you for helping. Now it's time for us to practice writing our letter B, uppercase B and lowercase B. I'm going to go over to our drawing and writing board. I'm going to get our writing, draw, writing and drawing board ready. But first, I have to clean it up and get it ready so that we can practice. While I do that, you get your paper, notebook, or whatever you need to practice writing. And if you're just using your finger, that's okay too. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay, it's time to practice writing the letter B. We'll do uppercase first and then we'll practice the lowercase. I'm going to use my red marker today, the red marker. Now before we start, I wanted to show you something first. So watch me first, okay? Watch me first. Because both letter B, the uppercase B and lowercase letter B, they both have straight lines and they also have curved lines. So letter B, uppercase, has a straight line going down, but it also has curved lines. And the curved lines go like this. You start at the top and it curves to the middle and then it curves to the bottom, just like that. And the letter B lowercase has a straight line going down, down, and it only has one curve, one curve, like this. Go to the middle and you curve to the bottom. That's our lowercase b. So first we're going to practice uppercase b. So everyone, get ready. Let's start at the top. Here we go. Start at the top, we go down, go back to the top, curve to the middle, curve to the bottom. Great, let's try it again. Start at the top, go down, go back to the top, curve to the middle, curve to the bottom. Great. And if you're practicing using your pointer finger, I want you practicing up in the air. Line down, go back to the top, curve to the middle, and curve to the bottom. You can practice like that. Okay, let's keep going everyone. I'm going to do another one over here. Here we go. Start at the top, line down, go back to the top, curve to the middle, and curve to the bottom. Great. Let's keep going. Start at the top, line down, go back to the top. Curve to the middle, curve to the bottom. Let's keep going. Start at the top, line down, go back to the top. Curve to the middle, curve to the bottom. Great, let's keep going. Start at the top, line down, go back to the top. Curve to the middle, curve to the bottom. One more. Start at the top, line down, go back to the top. Curve to the middle and curve to the bottom. Great. Letter B, uppercase B. You did it. You just keep on practicing. Now I'm going to clean my board, so now we can practice letter B, lowercase, lowercase B. Okay, you can keep practicing while I clean the board. Now we're ready for our lowercase b. 
Watch me first. Lowercase b. Start at the top. Go down. Go to the middle of the line, the middle, and curve to the bottom. That's our lowercase b. Now your turn. Let's practice. Start at the top. Line down. Go to the middle. Curve to the bottom. Great. Let's keep practicing. Start at the top. Line down. Go to the middle. Curve to the bottom. Let's keep going. Start at the top. Line down. Go to the middle. And curve to the bottom. Let's keep going. Start at the top. Line down. Go to the middle. And curve to the bottom. Let's go. Two more. Here we go. Start at the top. Line down. Go to the middle. Curve to the bottom. I'm going to do one more here. You do one more as well. Start at the top. Line down. Go to the middle. And curve to the bottom. Lowercase b. You did it. Great. Just keep on practicing. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And your letter B, both the uppercase and the lowercase, will continue to get better. Keep on practicing. Now, it's time for our circle time song. So, I'm going to clean the board and I'm going to put a very special song there. And you get ready to meet me there for our circle time song. See you soon. <laughs> now it's time to sing our circle time song. Today we're going to sing the letter B song. Remember, letter B says B, B, B. Okay? And when we get to the part that says letter B is all around, you can go like this for round. Are you ready? Get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Letter B. Letter B says B, B, B. B for baby, B, B, B. B for bottle, B, B, B. B for ball, B, B, B. Letter B is all around. B for boy, B, B, B. B for book, B, B, B. B for bag, B, B, B. Letter B is all around. B for blue, b, b, b. b for bubbles, b, b, b. b for big, b, b, b. letter B is all around. Again, B for baby, b, b, b. b for bottle, b, b, b. b for ball, b, b, b. letter B is all around. B for boy, b, b, b. b for book, b, b, b. b for bag, b, b, b. Thank you for singing the letter B song. Did you like that song? I'm so happy you liked that song. I made it just for you. Now, we had an amazing week here at Circle Time with Miss Monica. Thank you for coming every day to Circle Time. We reviewed the entire Circle Time board. We learned all about letter B, the star number 14. And now the week is coming to an end. And now you get to enjoy the weekend with your family. I can't wait to see you next week. Have a great weekend. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. See you next week.